Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back. Um, let me show you here. This is uh, we've been doing a lot of building, or not a lot of building. We were we were messing around with some building, but I was doing a lot of breeding, is what I meant to say. And uh, yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of dire wolves in here. Uh, not gonna lie, I went kind of overboard. We have. A lot of really cool mutations. I started getting some of these ones towards the end, though, which is what I really wanted. The main body mutations look the best, especially this one. This one looks insane. So let me show you. We have we have several different sock mutations here. So we have like a red socks here, which looks pretty cool. This is like a faint like dark blue socks. It's kind of it was kind of hard to notice when they were a baby because all their feet seem to be pretty dark anyway. But uh, these things look insane. Uh, this is another red socks, though it's different from the first one. Um, this one here is obviously a red main body, I think, or else it's an orange. I'm not really sure, it's kind of hard to tell. This one here has like magenta socks, looks pretty cool. This one here has like the purple body, which looks insane. This one here has uh, green socks. Uh, we have, I think, like, I think this one is an orange actually. Yeah, that one over there is like a red. This one's an orange main body which just looks ridiculously cool. And then this one here is like a cool green, actually. I'm not exactly sure which type of green this is, um, but it looks really awesome. I think like if we got a red kind of similar to this on the back of that, that would look really cool. We could call it like Sherbert or something. I don't know. <laughs> but I also managed to breed up some pretty cool ones that I want to gift to two particular people on the server here. And they're going to be for free because they, they built us something really cool. And I want to say thank you. So this one here... Is like a dark blue mutation this one here is for a rally and then this one here is for UTC this is kind of like a uh, reddish pink I guess I don't know they look pretty cool I thought that those guys might like them so uh, we're actually gonna go deliver those to the uh, to the two guys up there they're actually building I think up near the North Island I have to go look at their stream again because they're streaming right now I want to go gift it to them right now uh, while they're on stream and playing and such but uh, yeah, we, we've had a couple more mutations as well, but like most of them are like crappy stat mutations that I didn't really like. I kept get, I kept getting like more health mutations from like, oh, a rally just died. <laughs> I kept getting more health mutations from like the non-health direwolf in there and it was really weird. But uh, we're, we're not really going to keep too many of those stat mutations that we already have. Either way, we're going to head out now. We're going to take Lola. We're going to head on out. Let's grab these two direwolves. I also imprinted them as well, which, uh, it was kind of a little bit tricky. Had to kind of, like, rush for some kibbles at some points. Are you they coming? Yeah, I think they are. Awesome. So, yeah, we're gonna head all, all the way pretty much up... Wait, where are we right now? Where do we have to go? Oh, crap. We have to go right across the island. Ah, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> we'll be fine. We can get a couple levels on the way. But, uh, yeah, we have a long journey ahead of us here. I think I'll probably just catch you guys when we're over there. Um, it's gonna take a little bit to get over there, obviously. So yeah, uh, oh, also we have a level. Oh, also, yes, I have been leveling Lola a huge amount. I actually managed to kill an Alpha Raptor yesterday, which was great. Um, so at this point, we're just leveling Melee, because the health is at 10k. We're not going to need more than that. Um, the stamina, I got to like close to 1500. I just leveled 2 into that, I believe. And I've just been leveling the, the Melee ever since. And it has pretty good weight to begin with and everything, so we're pretty good on that front. Anyway, I'll see you guys over there, but... Also, don't forget to hit that like button if you found yourself enjoying this video at any point. I know you guys really like the direwolf mutations. I thought I'd kind of bring you guys back and bring you up to speed with the rest of them because we've been doing a lot of breeding for these things and uh, it's kind of insane at this point. So yeah, I will see you guys over there. I uh, I was heading over here when O'Reilly was still there. I have a gift for you guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you? It took that me would ages be cool. to get over here though. <laughs> yeah. Where, where are you set up right now? I've seen you do starting off some stuff. Um, um, remember where the community was last season? You know that, yeah, you know that long waterfall beach? spot? Yeah. I'm there. Oh, the really long, the one that kind of extends out. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. So hop outside here. <laughs> I think, you, yes. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Dude, I saw you, I saw you doing this. Uh, I saw pictures of these. That is crazy. So that one's yours. <laughs> Oh here, let me turn a little HUD on. Yeah, okay. I'll just move out of here. And look at look at you. Look at that color on yours, man. That's fantastic. Yeah, there's actually cyan on the back, but it's not so noticeable. No, but you can actually kind of see it down the snout. I think. Yeah. Is that the same? So. Probably the same region. Yeah, yeah. The back and it goes like right up, and then I think into the tail too, kind of. 
Now, how often do you end up with exactly the colors you're looking for? Because you always do end up with dinos that are your channel colors, right? Well, blue is like really common. There's like, I think there's like eight blues or something that it can be. So you're probably going to get blue. Yeah, yeah. right, right. But uh, I have, it's, I've only dipped my toe in the world of breeding. This game is so big and there's so much to it that you could just get lost in one facet of it. Yeah, don't look in the tribe block. <laughs> If you like right. puppies, don't <laughs> yeah. look at the tribe log, please. No, I, I think I remember the beginning of last season when you were still living in that ta the town. I remember just seeing little baby saber tooths get chased off a balcony and beaten to death on the, in the water. So yeah, but all so, something to that effect. All in the name of science, though. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh so God. how many generations deep are you at this point? Um, I've been kind of breeding with the same ones because they have good stats, but I have like a yep. crap ton. This one here is. Uh, how many generations? This one here is not so oh, nice. much. Mm -hmm. but, uh, what's this one here? And that I like one's this not one so much well. either. I think this, I think Lola over here. Yeah. 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 On one side, it's like six generations. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of insane. Uh, yeah. Let me see. Show ancestors. I'm a... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I see that. So the tribe log is just filled with just dead babies everywhere, so... <laughs> We're not going to talk about that. It's fine. <laughs> oh, no, right now it's all about thatch foundations. You hid most of it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, yeah, you get, if you don't scroll down, you don't see any of it. <laughs> yeah, it's not there. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So I saw you um, streaming. Let me see. Yes. So I'm I'm working on a shape. Uh, I don't, oh, I don't have a good door in? yet. I think oh, there's a little here. door down here. Okay. It's not, yeah, I haven't worked out the details yet. But now I'm thinking I'm going to get a couple of... I'm just going to try with stone, but I'm thinking I'm going to try and put a little... I need to be able to get myself up there. I might grab a couple ladders. Grappling hook um, would be handy. Yes. We yeah, we missed the reusable ones. I really want to add it, but I don't. I feel like people wouldn't want it. <laughs> I know. It's not vanilla, really, right? To be yeah. able to just grapple and parachute like a Just Cause game. Unfortunately. I'll just have to get tech Yeah. Here. Okay guys, so we're back. It's just us now. We're at the base and we're on to our main project for today. Let me show you something really quick here. Um, so this is a question that I constantly get all the time whenever people see like the circular builds with the tree platform. People are always asking like, hey, how do you get the tree platform on the ground? Well, it's not really like a vanilla thing or anything like that. It's actually using Platforms Plus, which is a mod that is made by the same person as uh, Structures Plus, and I believe it's also officially supported. I'm not sure if it actually is, though. I don't know. Somebody tell me if I'm right or wrong on that one. Either way, let me show you. So with these pieces right here, this is called a wedge. What you have to do is you just have to snap it to a pillar. Simple as that. <laughs> So that's how you do it, and then you just put more pieces on, but uh, we're going to get ourselves over there really quick, because we're going to be building a uh, a dino pan off of the side of the main base here. It's going to just kind of be over there. It's going to be cool. Um, hopefully that's lined up correctly. That's the best I can line it up, I think. Yeah, hopefully. All right, let's check on the rest of these things here. All right, we're probably going to have to break that rock there. It's going to stick through a little, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Awesome. Okay, let me take a look at this from above. How does this look? Is it too big? Is it too bulky? Eventually, we'll turn this to metal. Uh, it looks okay. It's gonna look pretty big and bulky, to be honest. I mean, you can't really make something like that tight and compact, pretty much. So, it's whatever, you know? Like, it's gonna be fine. Um... Hopefully it's not going to spoil too much of the view. That's one thing I'm kind of worried about. But I don't really know where else I could build it, to be honest, because it's like, if it had to be in like an odd number on the side, I could, you know, run it off the side of one of these pieces, but I can't really, so... Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I like it. We're going to keep it there. We're going to build our big dino pen thing here. And maybe off here, at some point, we'll build our uh, breeding one instead. Of, uh, of like another dino pen. I do probably want to put another one over here. We'll see. We'll see how the uh, how the building goes. Anyway, so what we're gonna do here now is that we can we can actually go ahead and just remove these. Uh, how do I? There we go. You just go ahead and remove these. I don't really need all this crap down here. And I could probably go ahead and fix the walls down there too. So we have our little walkway up to it. 
Probably going to have to chuck down some more railings here. Uh, I need to get a couple more. I need to do something with this here because that's going to look a little bit weird. Um, maybe another railing here, I think. Yeah, what does that look like? If I just put the railing there, there's still a bit of a gap. Maybe I could put like a pillar there or something. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, this is going to be like the main entrance to the to the breeding. Or not to the breeding, to the dino storage thingy. Um, we're going to build up walls. Um, we're going to build down walls too as well. But we're going to build up walls. We're going to have like this whole thing set up. So we're going to have like different pens and everything. I just need to do a little bit more crafting and we can get that started. But I wanted to bring you guys back for this part right here. And uh, I'll probably set up some walls and stuff and I'll bring you guys back in a couple minutes. Okay, so I've done a little bit more building here. What we've got is we've got a second level and you'll notice that these pieces here actually don't have that center bit and that's because these are different wedges. These are inner wedges, these two here, and then these ones here are outer wedges. Oh great, now it's raining, of course. I freaking hate rain. <laughs> I guess we can fill up our water thingy. Anyway, um, so basically how this works is, uh, <laughs> oh god, I hate the rain. We're going to have multi-level in here, and that's why we're missing the whole gap here, because we need to put in a, uh, a ramp. So let's let's start off with that then, I guess. Mine melts join, hello. Uh, so I guess if we start off by placing a, it's just stopped raining? What? Oh no, I walked underneath that. Did that count? What the hell happened there? Oh, when you're inside, it doesn't rain inside anymore. That's weird. I didn't know they fixed that. Okay, anyway, um, we can't place the, uh, the we, we want to actually put in the slope pieces, not the actual ramps. We can't place the ramps on this side. They'll only place on this side. So we have to kind of build off of this a little bit. So if I go, we should be able to place one off there if I place a wall on top. So if I go like this, we need a place another wall or another ceiling right there I kind of like build it down a little bit here that should work I think we can kind of snap them correctly oh do I okay now I can go one more in yeah because this looks a little bit weird <laughs> that's kind of dumb what the hell did I even do maybe I have to kind of start from the bottom here so I need this wall to come down, this this one here is supposed to have the uh, ceiling going onto it. So if we kind of like remove it a little bit and keep building. Uh, we can remove these and then we can kind of build off of this one here too. So we should be able to actually place down a couple of these so far. Is that snap correctly? I think so. Uh, we can remove all those. Snap from there, and then I think this should be able to just, yeah, it does. Awesome. I think that's because of this wall right here. All right, sweet. So we got our ramp completely sorted out. We just need to kind of widen it a little bit. I'm not sure if we're going to go three wide or not. Um, let's have a look at two wide, definitely. We'll see what it looks like three wide. Uh, it might look a little bit weird if we make it three wide. Is it going to cut into the wall at all? It is, but only slightly, and I think it's kind of worth it, actually. Because it looks a little bit better. Okay, we'll go with that for now, anyway. Um, we got to place a couple more. Oh, crap, where the hell did that place? In here? Where did it go? I bet it's inside of here. Nope. I don't know where... Oh, there it is. You know what, actually? I'm just realizing we never even needed a... Uh... We never even needed the inner and the outer here. We just needed to just put a normal one of these in here. So what I might do, actually, is just remove the... Can I even get the snap point for it? I probably can't. I probably have to remove all of these to get the other ones. Um, I can remove these ones here and put a full one there. So that means that we'll get an extra pen, which is what we want. So that's this one here. Okay. Stupid rain. Right. Oh. Ow. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Hopefully we can place these right now. There we go. Like so. I'm hungry now. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Give me a break. 
Please correctly, damn it. Ugh. Alright. Let's eat some food. Did that place correctly? I think it did. Hopefully. Let me have a look. I think so. Okay, so I just need to grab... I have plenty more wedge pieces, so I can put another wedge right there. But what we've got now is we'll come up here. There's going to be walls along here. This is going to be one pen. Um, there's obviously going to be walls kind of stopping us from falling to the outside. Oh. Wait, does that... Hang on. It doesn't leave a gap, so I guess I can put it up higher. Hmm. Oh, now it's going down low. See, it's snapping to the top of this or else to the... Wait. No, no, it's snapping to the bottom of this or the top of the wall below us here. So what we want to do is we want it to snap to the top of this instead of the wall. Okay. So what we're going to have here is... This is going to be the second level. There's going to be a pen right here. Pen here. 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 And I think, I'm not sure if we're going to go by another level. I might end up doing that. So if we do, we might actually stick that in the exact same place. Uh, and we can have that ramp basically connecting to this wedge right here. We'll see about that. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do yet. I just want to see how much materials I have and how long it's going to take. Because I want to mostly get this finished today. And uh, kind of like move in some of the creatures as well. So yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna work bleh, I'm gonna get working on this a little bit more and uh, put up all these walls. It's basically just repeating this over and over. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. So I'm pretty much almost done here with the second level. Just doing the last pen here. What I've been doing is to save on the materials because I do plan on replacing these. I've been taking away the centers of each and every single side and just leaving the frame here because, I mean, obviously the stuff is expensive to make, but I want to actually fill this in with um, glass walls instead because I think it's going to look a lot better. And obviously, eventually, all of this will be turned to metal anyway. Um, I do plan on, like, turning pretty much... Uh, I don't know if we're going to turn all the base to metal. We're going to have, like, a mixture of metal and stone. But uh, I think it's going to look pretty cool. So check it out anyway down here. We've got all of these pens in here, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got nine pens down here, and I think we have ten pens up here, because we're missing two of these slices. So yeah, ten pens. Um, yeah, so we have like 19 pens. I think that's probably going to be enough. I'm not sure if I'm going to do another level. So for now, let's cap it off with some of these. And luckily, they also snap to the um, to the walls like that. So it's pretty easy to, let me, I'll just fly up to the top, it's going to be easier. It's pretty easy to uh, to go ahead and actually like connect them up and everything. You don't have to put more pillars or anything like that. That would actually suck if you had to. I don't know where the hell that one went. Oh, great. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Uh, Got to get back up on top now somehow. I'm going to have to whistle my bird. Oh, crap. All right. That was a fail. So uh, we're going to do up the roof here. Maybe, I don't know if I want to completely put, I don't know if I want to put like flyer pens up here. Like I could do pens with like gates on them or something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, maybe we'll leave this kind of like just flat up the top for now. And then eventually we'll come through and we'll just do something to it. There we go. Actually, I forgot I had an extra one on me. So I could have actually filled up the top and then removed that piece. But whatever <laughs> okay let's get this in and then the next step is getting the gates in and I want to get some of the glass doors on as well at the front of the gates so that's gonna kind of I don't know like we could definitely use the top for like flyer storage for sure um, and obviously by the way it's not gonna be floating like that I'm gonna like fill the ceilings all the way down to the ground there and it's going to sink right into the uh, to the sand and the water and everything. So it's not going to look like really weird or anything. Like It kind of looks like a space saucer right now. <laughs> it's it's kind of weird. Also, I feel like I should put some sloped, sloped wall bits right here. Like just to kind of take away from the squareness of the entrance. But uh, yeah, I kind of like it. Let's, uh, let's just grab some creatures and just put them in here for now. So I'll just grab the space pig. 
Mirror, and where's the other pig? There he is. Also, by the way, for some reason, people th people thought that Crafter was like dead or something. Crafter didn't die. Crafter's right there. <laughs> oh my good. I do get it though. Crafter is everybody's favorite creature. All right, come on, piggies. You gotta get into your into your little pen. So this is gonna be like a really handy way of just storing up my creatures. Unfortunately, I think I'm probably too heavy to like ride on these pigs and bring them in. It's gonna be a little bit easier. If, whoa! <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit easier if I don't have to uh, have them following me. That pig's going all the way over there. I'm not even sure what the hell that one's doing, but we're just gonna leave him. We have this pig. Oh, now he's coming. What the hell are you doing, mate? Seriously? All right, you guys are gonna go into this pen here, I guess. So as I said, we're gonna have like glass here eventually, um, and then we're gonna put on the gates too. So let's just leave these guys in here. Uh, oh, they're on. Forgot they're on. Group whistle. Ignore. So yeah, gotta put the gate frames in next, but I, I gotta make them out of metal though, and I gotta make the, uh, the gate door things as well, the glass ones. So yeah, kind of quite a lot of work to actually still go into all this. It's uh, it's definitely coming along though. It looks pretty good. Um, I think it will look pretty cool when it's metal as well. But that's a long way off. Seriously, like, this stuff is very expensive. The platforms, like, they're pretty expensive as wood. Like, they're really expensive as metal. And it's not something that I can really manage right now. But I wanted to solve my situation with all of the, um, with all the flyers and all this stuff that I have here. Just kind of have them, like, some stored somewhere pretty much. Just so they're not just everywhere like this. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess we can get Crafter up there. Are we going to be too heavy for you? No, we're okay. All right, Crafter gets a Crafter gets a good pen. You can have this one here. <laughs> so we're gonna just like put a bunch of creatures that are like the same, I guess, into each pen. So a couple of our um, a couple of our direwolves, maybe um, stuff like Cujo here, where we only have one. I'll probably just stick him in with something else. I want to keep my utility dinos, like the frog. We're gonna get a we have a Dodic. We're going to get an Anki, we're going to get a Therizino, all these other things. I want to put them somewhere else. They're utility dinos, and they need to be somewhere where I can reach them pretty much whenever I might need them instead of having to go in and grab them out of pens. So they're probably going to be out here somewhere. Not exactly sure where, but uh, we'll solve all that pretty soon here. Anyway, I've got to get to work. I'm going to craft up all of those uh, gate frame things, and we're going to hopefully finish this thing off. Well, I'm pretty happy with this. They're lined up okay. Some of them are a little bit off, but like there is no way to snap these. You pretty much just place them by eye. Uh, but I think it's okay. I think it's grand. We're just gonna place on these glass gates now. We gotta stick them onto auto close only. Oh god, that's annoying. Uh. Oh god. Ugh. Those noises are just so annoying. It just, uh, I don't know, it gets to me. Nah. Alright. No more noise. Awesome. Okay, well, this looks really good. Like, honestly, this as metal, like, everywhere will just look fantastic. I can't wait to do that. Um, so we're gonna, I guess, I gotta put down the gates down here, but you know what? Yeah, let's just put them on for now. I was thinking I might just do it after, but I kinda wanna, like, ride some of the creatures in here and place them... Oh, uh, no, it's meant to be. Oh, God. Oh, no. It's all the wrong buttons. There we go. Oh, no. <laughs> so noisy. Uh, I was going to put these down after, obviously, but uh, I guess I'll just do them now. You know, no point of waiting. You can get these pens finished completely. Um, okay, so all the creatures that we want to store in here. I think I'm going to leave my mutations out for a little while. Um, I want to try and sort out what ones I want to combine here and uh, figure all that stuff out. Uh, so in terms of like the creatures that we have here, what can we put inside? Let me grab, I'll grab some of the utility creatures for now and put them in. So I'll just put the Dodic in and I'll put the Trike in as well. Cause the Trike doesn't always need to be out here. I only use him really to get berries because like, and Thatch I guess as well, because, uh, I don't know. He doesn't gather a whole lot of wood. I kind of get more with my, uh, with my ax. Let's just put the Dodic in here for now. 
so eventually we're gonna have one of these for like breeding we're gonna have like awesome little pens that we can kind of put them into i'm not sure if i'm gonna build one of these again or if i'm gonna actually just build like a completely different building probably something different to be honest i'd imagine anyway uh can you put these guys through the small gates i'm not even sure if you can huh we're gonna have to figure that one out but um yeah what else do we have down there here we have the frog which i don't always use so i guess i can put him in um, we have some of the dire wolves that I can put in. I'll put the trike over here. Yeah, you can walk in. It's not it's not too cramped either. Like that's the best part about these pens. Like they're they're quite big. There's like quite a lot of space in them, you know. You could fit like you could definitely fit two trikes in there and then a third at the front. I don't know. A lot of space, a lot of space. Um also that uh that dire wolf up there, I think my mouth's probably gonna buy that off me at some point. In the next few days so i'll talk to you guys about how much uh he's buying that for and everything maybe i'll leave it at his base or something and uh and kind of like put a price on him or something <laughs> he asked me if i take dog pal which is like a play off of like paypal which are, or no dino pal not dog pal um so <laughs> i kind of found that kind of funny oh my god so uh i don't know if we're gonna like make specific direwolves for people and maybe try to sell them to people i don't know we'll see we have quite a lot of cool colors here, so I'd imagine that somebody else might want to buy a direwolf. Maybe I could combine a couple greens and try to sell it to Shredder. Yeah, we could do that. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, man. Okay, so is there anything else that doesn't... I guess Cujo can come in. Come on, buddy. Anything else? We don't really have that many teams. Wow, like, we actually don't. Like, besides all the direwolves, like, obviously, you know, we don't have any other ones. We have Lola up there, which is my direwolf that I use all the time. Which I might end up sticking in here too. I'll stick uh, Cujo in here as well. With Crafter. Come on, buddy. No, no, no. No, shoot. Come here. Come on. No, no, no. Alright. Follow me. There you go, buddy. Okay. He could just sit in here. We'll have him just sitting down there. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah. this is uh, This is pretty cool so far. We can kind of just put flyers up on top of the um, on top of the thing up here. And my idea for like a flyer pen would be that we'd have like a gate on the back that we'd open up, I guess. I don't know if that would work out well, though. Like, it would be kind of like the reverse of what this is, where there would be just a gate on like the center bit. And we'd like fly the, we'd fly the creature up and kind of like just hit open the gate and then just fly in from there. But we have quite a lot of large creatures, which we're probably going to get in this in this series you know from maybe from this thing right here and I still see questions if you guys want to know stuff about that watch episode zero it's all in there I promise oh man so uh, yeah this is uh this has been a hell of a project there's still quite a lot to do with it obviously but um I think we're probably done for today so guys if you enjoyed the video go ahead and hit that like button it really does help me out do appreciate it um, hit that little bell button down there as well um, it's just below the uh, the video or on mobile. I think it's somewhere on the screen. I don't know. It looks like a bell. Uh, so hit that button to get notifications of all the latest videos and such. And uh, subscribe if you guys want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one.